In southwestern Idaho, 75 years ago, Lizard Butte stood sentinel over a caravan of promise, a construction gang on its way to build a water pumping station. This job was the genesis of an organization that has helped alter the face of the earth. I'm Pernell Roberts. Join me as we explore the many constructive horizons of Morrison Knudsen Corporation. For two men of vision who led the team, Harry W. Morrison, a builder with a bent for business, and Morris Hans Knudsen, an experienced reclamation service supervisor, this was the beginning of a company that would leave its mark across the world. It began at Boise, Idaho, where they set up shop as general contractors. Total assets of the fledgling partnership amounted to $600 in cash, sturdy horses, Fresno scrapers, wheelbarrows and shovels, and great faith. That faith carried them far. Within 10 productive years, the founding partners incorporated the company. The first headquarters, a modest brick structure, rose on the outskirts of the city. Working with newfangled equipment, facing tough times and even tougher competition, Morrison Knudsen grew in stature and experience, project by project. Dams, logging roads, bridges, irrigation canals, railroads. With rock and earth, steel and concrete, and the honest sweat of toil, the partners wrote the company's history with their achievements. Willing hands gave the story many chapters, exotic settings. But mostly, it was a story of people, of builders and engineers with a job to do. Building dams became one of many specialties. MK helped pioneer the now common joint venture concept of pooling talent and resources for large projects. It assembled the famous group of Western builders, six companies as it was known, that won the Hoover Dam contract. This alliance completed the dam two years ahead of schedule, one of the greatest of all heavy construction achievements. Giant projects soon became commonplace for MK. No job was too big or too distant for its people. Even now, MK projects of yesteryear stand as genuine milestones. And with each passing year, new works of significance have risen. New evidence of the creative process of construction that Harry Morrison called the noblest art of all. A crafting of resourcefulness and imagination has lent new luster to living. As the world reaches for technological change, the imprint of progress and the hallmark of MK will advance side by side. It has been that way from the very beginning. unrest, Earth has long challenged the ingenuity of man. Over the centuries, its often forbidding countenance has been transformed for purposes as varied as its geography. Human effort and man's machines have made the land productive, putting nature to work for the good of society, shaping an improved world of our own design. An organization whose sweeping contributions helped build a better world is Morrison Knudsen Corporation, one of America's largest service companies. This is a story of its people, of builders of yesterday and today, and engineers of tomorrow, of milestones of progress in far distant places, of building a better world for society and industry, of laying yesterday's cornerstones and meeting tomorrow's challenge. The city of Boise, Idaho, is the headquarters of Morrison Knudsen. Founded here by Harry W. Morrison and Morris Hans Knudsen, 
The corporation is an alliance of organizations comprised of engineers, builders, and managers whose professional skills are applied to projects in virtually every segment of modern society. From these offices come the direction, the decisions, the planning that guide activities across the world. MK's strategic operations are executed by four principal companies organized under the banner of Morrison Knudsen Corporation, the holding company and financial center. These companies are Morrison Knudsen Company, a leading general construction firm, Morrison Knudsen Engineers, active in domestic and international engineering, procurement, construction, and construction management, M.K. Ferguson, specializing in engineering, procurement, construction, and construction management services for industry and power, and National Steel and Shipbuilding Company, a shipbuilding and ship repair subsidiary. These companies apply their management, engineering, and construction abilities across a broad spectrum. Heavy, civil, marine, and domicile buildings. Contract mining. Power and industry. Commercial, industrial, and institutional buildings. Manufacturing and remanufacturing. Real estate development. Waste cleanup. Waste to energy conversion. And shipbuilding. From its founding, through the early pick and shovel days, and on to the construction of the Great Hoover Dam, Morrison Knudsen, MK, has always looked to tomorrow. Its foundation for the future rests secure on its accomplishments of yesteryear. The MK saga fills many volumes, encompasses many lands. Snapshots of projects past mirror the company's progress. The MK roster of achievements is long. Great dams harness water for irrigation and energy. Structures bridge rivers and ravines. Mile upon mile of highway and railroads. Civil and military airfields. Missile bases for national defense. Industrial plants by the score. The commitment of people building for people. Applying their expertise to projects in every US state and in nearly 80 countries. From these basic skills, horizons broadened as man looked beyond the Earth. At the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, MK turned its constructive talents to the vehicle assembly and launch complex, riding a flame that rivals the sun. A spacecraft began a voyage toward man's first footfall on the moon. And as the threshold of space was crossed, the MK Organization II widened its frontiers. From its early foundations of heavy construction, MK has evolved, matured, and expanded its business thrust to become a full service company. New York City is home and place of business for millions of people. Each day, thousands of vehicles use the Holland Tunnel, a busy transit artery linking New Jersey and Manhattan. The 8,000-foot-long twin tube is getting a facelift. MK is here, beneath the Hudson River, replacing ceiling panels. Machines designed and built by MK for the job place the concrete panels into position. A gleaming new crown for a vital transit route. Off the coast of San Francisco, MK takes to the sea. Four miles out from shore, a huge barge lays an ocean floor outfall that will disperse treated wastewater into the Pacific. Briefly, a traveler across the threshold of the elements, a diver descends into the deep. He will direct placement of a 300-ton end gate that culminates a string of 1,000 pipe sections that were lowered into a trench opened on the ocean floor. The end gate signals the final stage of a project that will keep San Francisco's beachfronts clean for decades to come. The 
Beneath the busy streets of Chicago, a tunnel boring machine grinds slowly ahead, turning the solid rock of America's heartland into rubble. The tunnel is part of a vast system of subterranean corridors to collect excess stormwater. The result? Reduced flooding and enhanced quality of the area's rivers and lakes. The Tennessee Tom Bigby Waterway, a New Inland route for barge traffic from America's interior to the Gulf of Mexico. With an earth-moving army, MK excavated more than 95 million yards to open an 11-mile section. In the Canadian Arctic, MK built islands in ice, production platforms of rock and gravel for increased oil flow in the heart of the Mackenzie River. Six man-made islands raised from the riverbed are topped by tons of rock and support new production wells. MK has been building pipelines for almost 50 years, installing and maintaining these arteries of energy for clients worldwide. In Panama, a pipeline will carry Alaskan oil from tankers too big for the locks of the Panama Canal. Less than two years in the building, the pipeline joins an existing terminal on the Pacific with a new terminal on the Caribbean. Pioneered through rainforests, rivers, and mountains, the new oil canal crosses the narrow isthmus that bridges two continents and divides two oceans. Industrial and institutional buildings are an MK mainstay. Near Kansas City, an automobile assembly plant will produce the cars of a new era, a billion dollar investment by the leader of America's automotive industry. The huge plant, technologically advanced and innovative in design, encloses more than two million square feet. Here, MK is performing construction management and procurement services on a fast-track schedule of only 22 months. Still other MK forces are modernizing stamping and pressing plants at locations across the Midwest for the same automotive manufacturer. Many of the heavy presses were purchased from manufacturers around the world and shipped through the Panama Canal. The St. Lawrence Seaway carried them into America's heartland. The nation's highways brought them to their final destinations. A huge procurement and logistical undertaking. Another of MK's proven capabilities. Amid the rolling hills of North Carolina, Furrowed fields produce a major agricultural crop, tobacco. Near Winston-Salem, a new 27-acre building, the world's largest cigarette manufacturing facility, is completed. Its construction is part of a billion-dollar modernization and expansion program underway by the R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Organization. MK is construction manager and is providing planning and management services for most all of the major projects. The new tobacco handling equipment will more than double Reynolds cigarette making capacity. Philadelphia's progressive detention system will move into a new phase with the completion of a 260,000 square foot facility near the Delaware River. Using either design, construct, or construction management methods, Morrison Knudsen has completed more than 15 major corrections facilities projects in six states, achieving a reputation as an industry leader. The MK organization provides design engineering services as well as procurement and construction management in many varied markets, both domestically and internationally mine facilities, energy, transportation and water resources, toxic waste disposal, military housing and operations and maintenance. Scientific computer analysis helps clients make smarter, cost-conscious decisions in shorter periods of time, 
one reason MK continues to expand its reputation for technological expertise and practical experience. The waters of the Boise River are harnessed by Lucky Peak Dam to help green the farms of southwestern Idaho. MK is now helping tap the dam's hydroelectric potential. Much of the steelwork and water conduit is prefabricated on site and then hoisted into position. Work includes engineering and construction management for diversion tunnels, intake and outlet works, penstock, powerhouse and installation of three generating units. While the turbines are in operation, water from the reservoir will continue to irrigate the land. Energy from fossil fuels is society's lifeblood. MK is a front runner in resource development. Taming tough terrain, the company laid pipe for the 150 mile southern section of the Trans-Alaska Pipeline, one of the world's great engineering and construction feats. Insulated against a cold that turns oil to gel, the 800-mile pipeline from Alaska's North Slope stretched through two construction seasons to reach the Port of Valdez, where another MK project was underway. With practice deficiency, men and machines moved mountains of rock to carve level terraces for oil storage tanks high above the terminal. Far north at Prudhoe Bay, a plant will compress trillions of cubic feet of natural gas for re-injection and storage in nature's subterranean reservoirs. Where Colombia's sparsely populated Guajira juts into the Caribbean, a $2 billion resource development program was completed for an association of the Colombian government and an affiliate of Exxon Corporation. MK performed design, procurement and construction of almost all features of the huge Cerrojón coal project. The work included all the coal handling and support facilities for the largest mine in South America, a 90-mile railroad reaching from the mine to a new coastal seaport and the port itself. All the thermal coal is exported changing a little-known region of South America into one of the largest single sources of energy on Earth. When nature runs rampant, MK responds. In central Utah, a railroad and highway were cut by a massive landslide that created a barrier 220 feet high and 900 feet across. A river backed up behind the slide, flooding a small railroad town and many farms and ranches. MK forces were on the scene within days. Working around the clock, a tunnel was opened in the mountain around the slide and a huge conduit installed to prevent overflow of the earthen barrier. Another tunnel and shaft were opened to drain the newly formed lake and to provide a permanent passage for the river. Still other MK forces were at work opening two railroad tunnels. In less than eight months, trains roll at the site of one of the worst natural disasters in Utah's history. Not far away, near Salt Lake City, another natural disaster, another job for MK. The waters of Great Salt Lake, which has no natural outlet, have risen to record elevations, causing damage to homes, industries, and transportation routes along the shore. An MK Venture designed and is managing construction of a pumping system that will send water out into a 500 square mile evaporation lake. Innovative design and construction in the industrial and power markets have long been MK specialties. 
The corporation's alert response to swift changes in the energy picture has produced significant work in waste to energy conversion, nuclear retrofitting and decontamination, and waste cleanup segments. Here, the physical problems of energy and matter are resolved and solutions are put to work. Tomorrow's industrial plants have their design birth by computer. And models in miniature, Lilliputian though they may be, help engineers and builders visualize structures before construction begins. This scale model is of a brewery for Anheuser-Busch, a client of long standing. Where the Rocky Mountains rise from America's Great Plains, a new brewery takes shape. Located north of Denver, with 18 acres under roof, it is one of the largest industrial projects in Colorado. The MK organization's relationship with Anheuser-Busch dates back over 20 years and includes other new breweries, major additions, and hundreds of engineering projects nationwide. Five million more barrels of beer annually will enable the world's largest brewer to better serve the western states. Aging nuclear power plants in the populous east that require retrofitting or decommissioning are an important line of business for MK. America's first commercial nuclear power began here in 1957 at Pennsylvania's Shipping Port Atomic Power Station. With the plant's commercial viability established, MK is helping decontaminate and decommission the facility. Where the Connecticut River flows through New Hampshire and Vermont, New England's past coexists with the atomic age. Within the Vermont Yankee Nuclear Power Corporation's generating station, MK carried out major retrofitting work on the intricate piping systems, giving the facility an energetic new life for years to come. In South Carolina, at one of the nation's largest nuclear installations, MK is part of a new technology for immobilizing and permanently storing nuclear waste in a safe and environmentally secure manner. A highly sophisticated and heavily reinforced concrete structure with a 10-foot thick floor and roof and walls up to four and a half feet thick will house a complex process to ensure that the problem of nuclear waste disposal is not passed on to future generations. Isolation and stabilization of low-level uranium mill tailings at 24 sites across the United States is being carried out by the Department of Energy. Under contract, the MK organization is providing engineering and construction management assistance for this progressive waste stabilizing program. New Mexico's mesas, time-weathered monoliths in a land upheaved, mark the location of one of the sites. At Shiprock, excavation and shaping of 88,000 cubic yards is in progress. Almost a million cubic yards will be hauled in to cover mill tailings. Elsewhere, as here in Colorado, remedial action encompasses cleanup of buildings, roadways, and structures. Material. Is that pretty typical over the whole area? Sensitive equipment detects even the smallest traces of radiation above normal levels. Tailings are removed for safe disposal, and the area is then stabilized with clean material. Ever an energy leader, MK with Associates is engaged in waste to energy conversion projects including design, construction, operation, and joint ownership of a major facility in Florida, and design, construction, and operation of another waste burning plant in North Carolina. Prestigious business addresses by the score are the product of the real estate development arm of MK. In Southern California, 
Newport Place integrates support activities such as restaurants and hotels with business, professional and commercial ventures within a 200 acre campus like community. Another city, another MK showcase. This business park is only minutes from Boise's downtown. Park Center is almost fully developed with a hotel, restaurants, and the headquarters of several large companies. It is a place for people, created to enhance enjoyment of its lakefront setting. While developing real estate on its own, MK also builds high-rise and commercial buildings for others. In San Diego, a glass-encased landmark rises 25 stories above the city. Nearby stands the Bank of California, yet another MK-built center of finance and commerce. Contract mining is a specialty of MK, a logical offshoot of its heavy construction heritage. Today, the company operates nine mines across the United States. In Montana, Sarpy Creek Coal Mine epitomizes big mine technology. It is quiet, clean, environmentally responsible, and productive. The mine was engineered and developed by MK, which is also contract operator under a long-term agreement. On the flatlands of South Texas, sparse vegetation belies the soil's hidden resources. In this state of longhorns and long horizons, a new energy source is feeding a mine mouth power plant. Beneath the rock and earth cover lies an abundance of lignite, a fuel similar to coal. A drag line takes a 64-yard bite of earth to expose the buried bounty. Excavators teamed with hauling units extract thousands of tons each day. These machines skim even the thinnest of seams. Trucks then haul the fuel to the power plant two miles away. Once mining is completed in an area, soils are replaced and the terrain seeded with grasses to make the land more fertile than before. In northwestern Nevada, a major precious metals mining project is underway, providing yet another opportunity for MK's mining specialists. One of the world's largest heat leach operations takes shape as ore is placed on an impervious pad, the final step in MK's multi-stage role. A mountain laced with silver and gold is giving way to blasting and heavy excavators as mining, crushing, and ore placement are carried out under a long-term contract. Work-weary transit cars in service for years on the rail lines in the east are receiving a new lease on life at MK's remanufacturing plant at Hornell, New York. An assembly line operation completely rebuilds the cars. After track testing, the cars are returned to their daily commuter rounds. San Diego is home for National Steel and Shipbuilding Company, NASCO, an MK subsidiary. In the 100-acre shipyard, Maritime specialists can fabricate and outfit up to eight ocean-going vessels simultaneously. This is the largest vessel yet built on the West Coast, an oil tanker almost 1,000 feet long, one of two identical vessels for Exxon Shipping Company. NASCO employs innovative and productive design and shipbuilding technology centering around prefabricated modules Experience in this type of work stems from major structural modifications to ships converted from commercial to military use. Ships by the score have slid down the NASCO ways to sail the sea lanes of the world.
around the globe, from morning's first light to dusk's last glimmer, the achievements of Morrison Knudsen stand proud under the sun. Cornerstones of progress in a world enriched. Projects that have benefited the lives of millions. Every day, MK people bring individual experience and a corporate commitment to each task. Building virtually anything, anywhere. Mankind has become the architect of its environment, challenging the elements, changing the very face of the earth, and perhaps history itself by the creative act of construction. And the work goes on.